everyone, Jennifer here. And you're probably wondering what a grown woman is doing in pigtails. Today I'd like to talk about hair and nails. Let's chat about it for the summer. And I'm going to do a quick little tutorial for you for a very classic and elegant look. If you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, you have been seeing my at-home manicure pictures, pictures of my hairdos, and I've been doing a lot of braids lately. So I've already done one braided updo tutorial for you, and these are some of the looks that I've been showing on Instagram that I've been doing myself. And I come up with these ideas mainly when I'm having a bad hair day, or if I haven't washed my hair in a day or two or three, and I need to look presentable, but I'm just not going to be wearing it down. Now recently I received an email from Ulysses Press asking if I would review the new book by Abby Smith called The New Braiding Handbook. And Abby Smith is a fellow YouTuber. Her channel is called Twist Me Pretty, and it's a wonderful channel. I highly recommend you subscribe to her if you like hair tutorials. That's what she does. And what's wonderful about her book is that she explains in the beginning that she wasn't an expert either. She just liked to experiment, and if she can do it, we can do it. And I love that can-do attitude from her. And the book is full of really great ideas and lots of pictures step-by-step step on how to achieve um, certain looks with your hair. So I've been trying some of the looks in this and okay, so because I'm a novice, some of them are quite complicated for me. But here's the wonderful thing about this book is that I will attempt to try one thing and it doesn't quite go very well, but what ends up happening is something else entirely different that looks good too that I probably wouldn't have arrived at if I didn't look at her book. For example, the other day I was trying to do this pretty lace braid that she does, and I did it one night and it looked perfect, and then the next morning I tried to replicate it and it was a complete disaster, but it ended up looking like this, and I just loved that look. I called it my braided crown princess updo, and see, that was wonderful. So today I'm going to show you a quick milkmaid braid tutorial. And Abby has a tutorial in her book, and I've also been doing this look for a long time. I posted it on Instagram a while back and said that my husband said he liked it, that I looked like Princess Leia, which for him is a very high compliment indeed. So for this look, you're going to start off with two pigtails. Just braid your hair on either side. And then you're going to fatten out the braid by gently tugging at the pigtails. You can um, secure the ends with a clear elastic. So then you're going to take the braid and you are going to lay it on top of your head just like that. And you're going to take a bobby pin, a few bobby pins actually, and just pin the braid into place so that you feel that it's very secure. Okay, then you're going to take the other braid and do the same thing. Try to cover the tracks of the braid that you just put up and you're going to take the end and sort of tuck it underneath the braid from the other side. And once again with pins you're going to pin it up. Many women might be afraid to wear this because it looks a little costumey but I think it's really elegant and chic and if you wear it with the right outfit it can just look um, beautiful. So I hope that you will try the milkmaid braid if your hair is long enough. On to nails. I've got a lot to talk about with nails. I have been experimenting like crazy with different colors and this all stemmed from a discussion I had with my husband back in January where he wanted me to try different colors because you know me, I'm very safe. I'm always wearing neutrals. So you know he likes blues and kind of colors that I think are very out there. So I decided to experiment in that realm, and there are some that I liked way more than others. But you'll see with my pictures here that I've been having quite the time giving myself at-home manicures. And I have to say that I have not been to the nail salon in so long. I just give manicures to myself now. I'd rather save the money. I'm getting much better at it each and every day, and I think that they look professional enough for me. 
and I don't really have the time now to go to get my nails done. And if I do have time, other things are taking priority now over that. So I'm really enjoying doing this at home. And the conclusion that I have come to is, drum roll please, that the neutral colors are still my favorite colors. I'm wearing Dior's Incognito on my nails right now. And one of the reasons why I love the neutral manicure so much is that it lasts so long. It's very forgiving. It's chic, it's elegant. I put this on maybe five or six days ago and I think it still looks very acceptable. Whereas when I put darker colors on, if there's one chip, it just looks messy and you have to get rid of it. So I'm not opposed to any of the strong, bold colors anymore. Um, I will totally still be wearing those, but I will always faithfully return to the neutral nail. And Dior's Incognito is my favorite neutral of the summer. And the last thing I wanted to talk to you about, um, because I do at-home manicures, this Dior Creme Abricot nail cream is spectacular. I got it at Sephora, it's about $25, and about once a week I take the cream and I massage it into the nail bed. And I do this at night because it makes your hands very sticky. And then when I wake up in the morning, my nails are just, they're just so lovely, the cuticles are totally manageable, and I just highly recommend this cream. It's one of those holy grail products that I just love and really stand behind. So that's it. That's my nail and hair discussion for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And send me your own pictures of your hair and manicure triumphs. Use the hashtag Madame Chic so we can all check them out. Thank you for joining me on The Daily Connoisseur. I'll see you soon.